It's Mig Masterin's Cage General Knowledge. We're just getting right back into it. So plug the code in, and we'll get started. And uh, hello, VOD people. I'm cutting these, so we're back with another Kahoot. This time, it's KH General Trivia. I think this is going to be part six. This will be the sixth general KH trivia we've been sent, this time by Mig Masterin. So, and then after this, we have Dawn and Goofy Trivia by Fruitune. Don't shuffle answers. Gotcha. Oh, don't shuffle. Okay. Okay, so I won't shuffle either. Everything's showing on the screen. Good. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the fantasy music. Um, yeah, hopefully I can uh, redeem myself, you know? Although, you know, guys, if you go to the, the Discord, you go to the Kahoot channel, you can see the list of, um, of Kahoots we've played and all the ones coming up in the future. You control F, regular Pat in there. I'm on the leaderboard a lot. It's pretty impressive. Um, how would you feel about a Dream Eater Kahoot from the, from the DDD stand? How would I feel? I would play it on stream. <laughs> I would love that. I wouldn't do great at it. Um, I have, like, no idea how I would uh, fare. I'd probably, you know, be very, very far away from the leaderboard. Um, but yeah, you all win if I lose. So I would say get to it. Chop, chop. Um... Yes, there you go. There you go. If you'd like to see the cahoots we have coming up, I did put a bunch more into the schedule today because I was slacking on that. Um, we're scheduled up to like first or second week of June now, I believe. Let me see. Um, also, Big Stickin', thank you so much. He ended up on the leaderboard and then we got gifted. Oh, look at that. You gifted us up to Twin Stick TV. Sticks supporting sticks. Legendary shit. Um, <laughs> appreciate that. And also, Gohomaru, standard XXXX. Sylphaeons, and Nuke Future Bannon. Thank you so much. Big stickin'. That's right. Five subs for top five finish. We love that. Fan for everyone. 279. 2739. Apologies. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. God, you guys... You guys are so nice. <laughs> on a no uh, gameplay Tuesday. We'll see what happens on Thursday, you know. Um, I just thought... I, I didn't know if my uh, my ISP would even make it to my house today, so I thought we'll just have this as a fail safe. Everyone likes the cahoots anyway, so. But um, but um, our next cahoots after these, I'll give you, I'll give you everything we have left right now. So we do Donald and Goofy trivia next. I'll get to that one second. Whale. We have Cage Two Brady Games Guide Trivia, I think, from Burning Bandala. Um, we have FF10 Trivia from Milano37. We have Clayton Trivia from Romsom. Um, KH General Trivia EZ Mode from Kingdom's Oracle near his birthday, I believe. Um, Sora Trivia from KT Bean. Um, KH Voice Actor Trivia from Mr. Shiverburn. KH World Details from Cherry Embassy. Disney Trivia Part 2 from Cartoon Buffoon. KH1 Themed Disney Trivia from Ali. And Where is Sora KH1 Edition from Romsom. Um, that has us up to June 11th, assuming we don't do any double or triple features. Um, by the way, the Where is Sora thing I'm really excited about. Romstom said it's like a picture of Sora in a cage one room, and you have four options, and you have to say which room he's in. So I think that's really cool. Also, the voice actor one, I'm excited about that one too. Oh my god, Immortal Sharp, thank you. I just spit on my keyboard <laughs> for the uh, 10 gift subs. That is immortal behavior indeed. Uh, Fire Red Emblem, Smelly Isopod, Starless 14, Day 1706, Saffron Pool, V-Sips, RMS Failure, AZ Link, and KBC1493, and Malight the Turtle. Thank you so much, Daddy Chill, as Kiwi says. Um, thank you so much, Immortal Sharp. I, I really appreciate that, especially, again, on a, you know, in this rough patch of my Twitch uh, career where I'm struggling to stream properly. The cahoots are holding up so far, knock on wood. So we'll see what happens. Also, if I were a stick, what kind of tree would it come from? Um, a cherry blossom tree, I think, pretty naturally. Um, some say they're out of season already, but, you know. Hi, Andrew! <laughs> Bum. Uh, I thought I was gonna loop. Daring Elk? Daring Elk 75? Sounds fake, but I'll leave it, because it's only the one. Um, alright, well, we might as well get started. We have a shitload of people already in, so, um, I will plug mine in. And if this is general, um, cage trivia, I guess I'll just be General Pat. That's my rank in the army. Of the Peace Corps, you know? Peace Corps have armies and uh, generals. That's not how that works, I don't think. General Pat. 
All right, folks, here we go. It's Mig Masterin's KH General Trivia. And let me just double check on this. Da -da -da -da. Okay, beautiful. Here we go. <coughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm Captain Pat, if you saw my, my YouTube post today. Number one. KH1, which two unique items can be received from the rare Truffle Heartless? Oh, I know that. That would be... Um, shiitake rank and Matsutake rank. Frosty, don't even bother. Shiitake rank and Amaterasu rank. Again, please. Matsutake rank and Shifu rank. Or Shirasu rank and Takamate rank. I tried my best. Hazel is a made-up color! Bullshit! Big Hazel! Yeah, the, the Shiitake rank and the Matsutake rank. Um, I believe one for 50 hits and one for um, 100 hits for the uh, rare truffle. How many times you juggle them in cage one? I'm on the podium. Look at that. General Pat, Jump, Birdo Legestaire, Burning Mandala, and Zora RJQ. Number two. And cage one FM, how many high potions does it take to defeat the Grand Ghost Heartless? Uh, that seems. Three, five, seven, or nine. Grand Ghost being a Final Mix exclusive Heartless in the stomach area in Monstro after your first visit. Um, I believe uh, you can uh, use any healing item to damage it, but how many high potions? Five! Wow, that's expensive. Um, I guess I usually just, I probably usually go in with like an elixir to kill those. Um, I, that's five high potions, that's crazy. Um, all right, I dropped all the way down from first to nineteenth behind Fru Two N Fru Toon. Um, let's see. Boo! Choice Snarf, Burning Mandala, Fristy, Just James, and Zeoff. All right. Also, High Chain. The Return of Riku's Bugs. Number three and one FM. What is the reward for completing all Gummy Ship missions? Oh. The Drill Gummy, the Crown Gummy, the Moogle Gummy, or the Buster Sword Gummy. If you've watched my treasure guide, it's like the last thing I say before the jingle, I think. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Gummy. That's pretty crazy, Andrew. Yeah, the crown gummy, and I believe you also get the, the Bahamut model. Um, and then I say, alright, now go outside, because you just spent the last X amount of hours playing gummy missions. Alright, BC for Kiv. BC? Beast Castle for Cage 4 You really want that? Um, Chester Zero, yeah boy, Riku's bugs! You gotta do it. Mickey, it's Riku. They put bugs in him. What? Also, Ruthie, what's going on? Um, I'm in 11th. Majora in 5th, I don't know if I said Majora. Behind Big Stickin'. Alright, number 4. In the original KH1, what color did the only missable Trinity Mark have? Oh, that was... Blue, green, red, or yellow. KH1, there was a Trinity Mark that you could only get for a limited amount of time, and if you didn't get it, that was it. You couldn't you couldn't complete the journal. It was gone. You have to do it. I'll tell you more details once this is over. Cup, cup, cup. We're not doing a cup today because my stream can't handle it, I don't think. Yeah, red. Um, in Halloween Town, in Oogie's Manor, um, there is a red trinity where you, where you like the lift to uh, go up. Um, it's on a plank of wood there. Um, you have to do it there on... And this is only original KH1. Um, if you don't do it, it's gone forever. Now, if you do it, and, and Final Mix is actually not there anymore, it's on the arch that goes into the little river area at the bottom of the manor, so. Um, yes, how very FF10 of KH1. That's, that's the Albed primers of Kingdom Hearts 1 right there. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And everyone's rocking with Jack on the way up to the manor, so it's like, you don't have D&G with you. So it's, uh, it's one of the faults of KH1 is that you can't switch the party members out on the fly. Um, I always thought that, like, Trinity Marks are so much better suited for two, because they're just flat things on the ground that are in flat environments, and you can already switch your party members out. It's like reversed, but it's a red right there. All right, we got BC for Kiv, Riku's Bugs, Majora, Tetra Zero, Sylvan Shroom, and I'm an eighth behind Big Stickin. Number five. Cage one, who steals items from Sid's store? <laughs> Depends on what you uh, what you think. When you watch uh, my 90 fact video, I get this comment all the time. Jiminy Cricket, Yuffie, the Moogles, or Pinocchio? And, uh... <laughs> if the answer is the Moogles, I'm shutting the Kahoot down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I swear to God, if I see that, that yellow bar all the way up, and uh, that's the correct answer, I'm just gonna shut it down. Yeah, no, Pinocchio, there's literally an optional scene. Did you know? There's an optional scene 
during your second Traverse Town visit where Pinocchio is on the floor in the accessory shop and she, he has a little like blue droppable item chest next to him and you could, uh, Jiminy will be like, you're stealing, you little bitch! And he yells at him and he hits him with his umbrella too. He's very violent. Um, you gotta yeah, apologize to the Titus imposter. I was like, is Titus stealing? You discount Titus? Um, but yeah, and all the comments are like, um, I think when, uh, when the, when Sid, was it Sid or like the, the blue shirt, Travis Town says like, I've been hearing noises lately. And everyone's like, I think he's talking about the Moogles. The Moogles are going downstairs and stealing stuff for the synthesis shop. No, they're not. No, they are not. <laughs> I think uh, I talk about that in a video that uh, Joel edited. And uh, he put the kid from, uh, was it Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Yeah. <laughs> Linus, Linus, minus the Linus. Yeah. He did not. It's not the Moogles. It's Pinocchio. Uh, BC for Cave, Riku's Bug, Sylvan Shroom, Ya Boy, and General Pat have come, come back up to fifth. Okay. Number six. In 1FM, how many lock-on points does the Pink Agaricus Heartless have? How many lock-on points? I believe. Um, Father, when can I leave to steal on my own? Is that from uh, Union Cross or is that fan art? Uh, yeah, two. The head and the body. Um, I think you're supposed to target the head and aim for that. Um, and you're supposed to like cast Aroga and do like Ragnarok to do as much hits as, as possible. Is it in Union Cross? That's crazy. I just don't know what in what context that would appear. Um, interesting. Because, um, like, it doesn't have a gimmick in Union Cross, right? It's probably just like a... Or does it? Maybe it does. I don't know. I played Union Cross for, like, a couple months in the early days, so... I'm in fifth behind Fruitoon. So Fruitoon has skipped on up. Then your boy Riku's Bugs and BC for Kiv. Okay. Number seven. Um, in Recom, what effect does the gold card have? Makes you invincible until the first card reload. It gives you the Thunder Boost ability for three reloads. Gives you the Once More ability for one reload. Or you're able to reload premium cards for five reloads. Um, shout out to the card compendium. That's how I knew this. Yes, that is the gold cards effect. You only get that from a reward room. Um, or a Is it a bounty room? I think it might be a regular bounty room. After you've gotten every other card in the game. You get the gold card, and then the next card you get is the platinum card, which I won't say what that is in case it's the next question. It probably won't be, but... Um, BC for Kiv, me, Fruitoon, Choice Snarf, and Fristy. Um, number eight, in Recom, the Sora playthrough, how many worlds offer the card a key to truth? Mm, I, oh fuck, I counted Castle Oblivion and I shouldn't have. I was like, I know there's a key to beginner. And yeah, key to beginner is Axel and then that's it. And then it, it's just a big door for Marluxia. So it's, here's what has key to truth. It's Traverse Town, Wonderland, Olympus, Agrabah, Monstro. Even though Parasite Cage is in Guidance, you do the Belly Bash, the Belly Brawl in Key to Truth. Um, Atlantica... Halloween Town, Neverland, Hollow Bastion, and that's it, because Twilight Town doesn't have it, Destiny Islands doesn't have it, and Castle Oblivion doesn't have it, but I stupidly countered it, and 100 Acre Wood doesn't have any uh, room cards. Um, and Protony 001, thank you for the follow. Um, shit! Well, I'm still in fourth, but I stupidly, at the last second, I had nine on my hands, and then I added Castle Oblivion. That was dumb. Alright, we got BC for Kiv, Tester Zero, Ya Boy, General Pat, and Fruitoon. Number nine, two FM. What is the maximum amount of Keyblade sword? <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did I? Am I understanding this right? Are we talking about? Uh. Talking about drive forms? Fuck. <laughs> I just, I don't even know what I was, uh, what I was thinking. I just, like, mash two. Um, but you can, uh, you can steal the, the, yeah, final plus Roxas. Yeah, exactly. I, I totally, uh, totally underthought it. No, it's three. Because you can get, uh, you can have, you can have final form and then steal Roxas' Keyblade and get the third one from Roxas. 
Wait, no, you can't use. You can use master though. You can use master or valor. Wait, no, you can't use either though. Are we thinking of the right thing? Do you steal both of Roxas's? Yeah, because you can't use. Yeah, you only use limit in uh, in Roxas's fight, and uh, you steal both of his keyblades. Okay, so you can't have. All right, so you can you can never fight Roxas on your own with two keyblades, but you steal two of Roxas's. You steal Oathkeeper and Oblivion, and you have your own. So that's three, right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, thank you for helping me logic that out. I had to, I had to really unpack that one. All right, I'm in 11th now behind Burning Mandala. You got BC for Kiv, your boy, Ralph Snakshi, Chain, and Fristy. All right, number 10. And two, when activating the Drive Form Final Form, what are the odds of turning into... Chain got, got this one already. He's turning Anti Form instead. Um, oh, wait, I think I got two. Yeah, I definitely got this. <laughs> but Chain knows, like, the formula for for anti-final form stuff, all that. Yeah, if you use final form, you will never turn anti-form. In fact, it resets your counter. So if you use final, then you drive into Valor or Master after that, um, it's very unlikely that you'll go into final form because it resets your invisible anti-form counter to zero. Um, wait, I, I, was, I said Shane's gonna get it, and then you read the question wrong. But yeah, oh, it doesn't reset. Oh, it's minus ten. Okay, well, it it it, uh, it depletes it a lot. I guess is the better better thing to say. Um, I thought I put it at zero, but I, I guess I'm wrong. Okay, fair enough. Um, point is, you're very unlikely to get anti form if you just use final form. You'll never get it when you use final form. Um, I'm in seventh now, behind your boy. So that's your boy in sixth. Choice Snarf in fifth. Frutoon, Ven, Fristy, and BC for Kiv still hanging on in first. Number eleven. And two, what is the shortest combo possible? Shortest combo possible. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, zero, one, two, or three. Yeah, okay, one attack. So, Because you, you can have the negative combo Keyblade plus a negative combo equipped which would go, it would raise, you would start at three, have the Keyblade, that puts you at two, and then the additional ability would have you at one, right? I think that's right, yeah? The cheese strats combo. Um, there you go. I'm proud of myself for lodging that one out. Um, I'm guessing when it says two, it just means two, because before uh, McMaster had the FM for Final Mix, so. Um, BC for Kiv, Fristy, Ven, Choice Snarf, and I've come back up to fifth. Okay, number 12. And two, in which gummy route do you fight back against a large pirate ship? Oh, fuck. Um, oh. Atlantica, Pirates of the Caribbean, so Port Royal, Atlantica, Beast Castle, or Olympus Coliseum. Um. I think I got this. Yeah, you would think it'd be Pirates, or Atlantica. Those both make way more sense. But, um, yeah, there's no synergy there at all. It's, like, randomly the Olympus. I guess it's, like, a like a dead, like, a ghost ship, so it's, like, underworld. I guess it's okay, but when you have a pirate world, like, like two feet away, you would think it would be there. But, yeah, I think the pirates and Agrabah are the, the highway, yeah. Or is, no, it might be Agrabah and Halloween Town. It's something over, like, on the left part of the map, or the, the two highway ones. There's, like, Ancient Highway and Broken Highway. I know Agrabah is one of them. Um, and that one's kind of fitting, because it kind of looks like Agrabah a little bit. Um, but the other ones are usually pretty off. And I fell to 7th, even though I got it. I guess I was too slow. Fristy. Oh my god, Fristy in first. BC for Kiv. Then Mr. King Jacob and Nep. And then Riku's Bugs. And then me. <coughs> 13 and 2. Highest possible rank for a gummy ship mission in mission 3. S, S plus 3, S plus 7, or S plus 10. Um, why bother having an S if you're just gonna fucking tack numbers on, you know? If you're gonna have an E to to S scale, then just cap out at S, you know? I, I don't understand this. Unless it is S. And it was S plus 10! That's crazy! <laughs> why? <laughs> I said S3. Um, yeah, I don't do gummies. That's a gateway drug. No, I believe you there's video proof. Yeah, I believe it. Um, I'm in 13th behind Hamon. BC for Kiv, Mr. King Jacob, Riku's Bugs, Fristy, and Chain. 
Number 14. And two, about how many seconds do, do Final Xemnas' laser dome attack last? Um, or does Final Xemnas' laser dome attack last? 20, 25, 30, or 40 seconds? Um, yeah, too long. I'm pretty sure I got this. Um, unless we're gonna get really specific. Okay, yeah, I was like, yeah, 30 seconds. That, that seems familiar, so. Yeah, I, I've definitely counted down before when I've uh, done that part. So, there you go, 30 seconds. I'm back up to ninth behind Fruitune. We got Riku's Bugs, Chain, Mr. King Jacob, Nep, and BC for Kiv. 15. In BBS Final Mix, how many times do you have to block the attacks of this Mirage Arena boss to earn extra medals? Of that boss? 20, 60, 100, or 120. What is that? Ericus's armor? Master's armor? Boom. Ah, oh, the flat 100. I went with 60. Um, that's a lot. I don't think I've ever done that. I've definitely beaten that boss. That's one of the few BBS optional bosses that I've taken the time to beat, but uh, I don't think I did the, the block metal thing. So I'm in 12th behind Hanown. And Fristy moving up to 5th. Number 16. In BBS, how many times is Ventus the first one to visit a world, according to the Trinity Archives picture? Oh, God. Um, how many times is Ven the first? One, four, five, or 6. Wow, five. Ugh, I went with four. I knew that... So, the only one I was, like, positive was uh, Dwarf Woodlands. Right? Because... Because Terra's first is Enchanted Dominion. Well, just because it's there first doesn't mean they're the first one to get there, I guess. Um, but I think it's Terra's first to Enchanted Dominion. Aqua is first to Castle of Dreams. Oh, wait, no, because Terra's leaving when Aqua shows up. So, Aqua might not be first to any of those first three princess worlds. But Ven is first to uh, Dwarf Woodlands, right? Oh, he's first in Castle of Dreams? Right, because he's small and he's helping them make the dress. So that's before everything. Because Terra finds Cinderella crying. Because they just ruined the dress. And then Aqua shows up. And threatens to kill Lady Tremaine. Um, so she's last. I mean, no, Terra's last. No, wait! Aqua's last, <laughs> I think. Yeah, because they die at the end, <laughs> quote unquote. And then Ven is first to. Where else is he first to? Five? There's four other worlds? Neverland? Disney Town? Is that one? I'm having a crisis. Ah! <laughs> oh, because he goes, he goes to the fucking Keyblade. That's a trick question, bro. Two people got this. Two people. Olympus? Olympus? Doesn't, isn't Zach already talking about Terra? I know Zach's talking about Terra to Aqua when she gets there. I feel like Aqua's always last. Ven first Radiant Garden? I don't know, man. Trinity Archives. That's that's tricky. I can't believe two people got this. Oh, my God. No one in the top five. All right. <laughs> Number 17. In BBS FM, what is the minimum amount of rounds you can finish the Mirage Arena match Monster of the Sea in? One, two, four, or eight? The minimum amount of rounds. Uh, I've only done this like one time, so. Bum, bum, bum. But I think it's gotta be four. Fuck me. <laughs> so what is it? Uh, the amount of rounds. Oh, because so the first round is gonna be a bunch of unversed, and then you get to fight Monstro directly after that, and you can just kill him in the second, in that first time you encounter him, right? Okay, yeah. For some reason, I thought it could have been, you have to do two waves of Unversed, and then it's Monstro. But it's one in the belly, one out. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Damn, I'm in 16th, behind Ralph Snacksy. Rika's Bugs, Chain, Nep, BC for Kiv, and Ven. Number 18. And BBS, how many bullets do, does Brag shoot at Master Zane or in a Radiant Garden cutscene? <laughs> God. How many bullets? 10, 12, 14, or 16? For all of you bullet counters out there, it's your time to shine. Need for an ammo. I don't know. They both have eye patches. 
I almost I almost clicked it, but I went with 12. And it seems like it just felt right, didn't it? Didn't 12 just feel right? Why did 36 of us say 12? I don't know. There's probably some psychology to that. What can you do? I'm in 17th, still behind Ralph. But Venya Fristy moving up to 4th and 5th. Number 19. In Dream Drop, Sora's playthrough, how many Dream Spirits, the friendly ones, do you have to defeat to advance the plot? Zero, one, three, or five. I talked about this on stream, but I don't know if it was... Oh god, I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything in case I got it right. Oh no. Um... No, you do fight one. And you have to kill Beats, friendly Kuma Panda, <laughs> and uh... oh wait, no, that's Riku, isn't it? So I'm, <laughs> I think I got this right by accident, because that's Riku's playthrough where you kill Beats, Kuma Panda. Who's uh? Yeah, that's Riku. So what is uh? <laughs> Who does Sora? Does anyone know? Can anyone tell me which? Because uh... Sora doesn't fight Beats, Kuma Panda. So does he fight a Neku Dream Eater? It's got to be earlier, right? Chirithi? <laughs> yeah, for some, I was I was close to saying three because I thought it was like a. Kamori doesn't even know. McMasterin, McMasterin, tell us. I have to know. I have to know which innocent child, um, Sora kills in Dream Drop. Yeah, he fights alongside Neku, doesn't he? Well, Neku's not actually in the, in the party or anything. But I feel like we might not be getting any answers on this anytime soon. Um, does he fight Riku because he's a dreamy? Well, Riku doesn't fight. Riku, or Sora doesn't fight Riku in Dream Drop, right? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well. Ven's armor? This. Uh, I don't know. Pretty sure Riku and Sora both fight beat? I don't know. If this just said Riku plays there, I think we would have been able to move on <laughs> two minutes ago, but. Yeah, Ven's armor is a nightmare. Yeah, and that's still Riku's playthrough. Alright, whatever. <laughs> whatever. If it was Riku's playthrough, that was definitely, you know, the answer was one. All right, Nep rising up to first place there. Number 20. People in the YouTube VOD, let me know. Um, where Sora first wakes up in Traverse Town in 3D, which Trinity mark is used to reach the same location in KH1? Oh, I know. Green, yellow, red, or blue, and don't get confused by the color of the buttons. Tricky. Yeah, so there is a blue trinity in the first district next to the cafe. Um, Sora starts Dream Drop in the little balcony above that cafe. You use the blue trinity to get up there. There's a chest with, I believe, a postcard in the balcony um, in KH1. So there you go. But now you can just flow motion up around and into it and out from it. So now I'm in eighth place behind Ralph Snacksheet. No movement there. I'll got that one. Number 21. In Dream Drop, how many pink spikes do the battle portals have? Fuck if I know. 12, 16, 18, or 20. How many pink spikes? <laughs> well, duck me! <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> I said 12 again, and I was wrong. Pink spikes. No, thank you. No more pink spike questions, please. That was never nowhere close to knowing how many. I'm like trying to visualize this fucking thing. Oh man. All right, BC for Kiv in fourth now. I'm in ninth. Moving on. Twenty two and three. How many pink spikes does the battle portals have? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> I said no more pink spike questions. This sucks. <laughs> Wait, are they blue? No, there's pink ones in three. For sure. Right? They're blue. <laughs> Wait, there's no pink portals? They're all blue? There's not a single pink portal? They're not purple! They're blue! <laughs> yeah, don't they turn pink when they're done? I don't know. There's, there's no way there's no pink ones. I'm looking this up. I'm looking it up right now. Cage 3, Battle Portals. Let's see. Yeah, they're definitely blue before you do them. They're all blue in this IGN, but these are all before they're done. 
no one's going to show me a picture of a pink one. What about, isn't there a pink one to go to the final world in the Keyblade Graveyard? Yeah, the one that comes out of Xehanort's pink. There's definitely a pink portal, but it's maybe not a battle portal. That's the thing. That's the thing. If they're not battle portals, then technically, yeah, you're right. You're right. But you're telling me when you beat them, they're still blue even afterwards? They're, yeah, they're non-battle pink ones. That's basically, yeah, they're, they're teleportals. Pink portals aren't battle portals in three. Fuck! I hate it here too. I hate it here. It's fair enough. I'm just, I'm just whining. All right, <laughs> I'm in tenth. Riggs, Bugs, Nep, Chain, BC for Kiv, Mr. King Jacob. Twenty-three. In three, how many Keyblades have more than two shot locks? More than two. Zero, two, three, or four. Oh, this is going to be news to me, regardless of what the answer is. <clears throat> well, you say you know which one's through two, and now I know that the answer is not zero. <laughs> I thought it was only Ultima had two shot locks. Oh, wait, don't like the fucking, uh, don't the, like, pre-order ones or, like, the exclusive ones. Oh, wait, Shooting Star and Honey Spout? Oh, because they're guns. That's not my car beeping, is it? Where are my keys? Okay, it stopped, so. <laughs> um, oh, you thought they... Oh, wait, Ultima only has one. Oh, yeah, I had I had it totally reversed. Ultima only has the one, and you have to be at, like, the right distance to use it. Um, and then there's one when you charge it up all the way, and then one when you don't for all the other Keyblades. So two for most other ones. And then those ones have even more than two shot locks, the, the gun ones. So... All right, and then Chain rising up to second there. Is Chain going to be on the leaderboard? That's exciting. Number 24. In three, which KH1 Heartless is the boss Dark Inferno based on? Gargoyle, Behemoth, Ansem, or Invisible? Pretty, pretty easy. The shooting ones have a unique one for if you target a single enemy, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't use the shooting ones very often, so I totally forgot about that. Yeah, this one's easy peasy. It's the invisible. They have the same body type, baby. The gargoyles are the Halloween Town flying ones. The behemoths are the the big purple guys, at least in uh, KH1 original. And Ansem, he's like a, a minor character. Yeah, stop abusing the Dark Inferno. All right, whole leaderboard got that. I'm still in 12th, and I think I'm going to remain there. Number 25. In KH3, how many Sword Clones can you collect in the final world? 333, 222, 200, or 111? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, someone said Ansem. <laughs> -ba. Uh, I think I got this. Because, yeah, you need to get 111 to leave the first time, but you can come back and get 222 and then 333 for some HP boosts. So, well, I ended in 12th behind Ralph. Let's see what happened here. In third place, we've got 17 out of 25 for BC for Kiv. Congratulations. In second place, Shane. Shane's first appearance on the leaderboard. But first place, the winner of the Cage General Kahoot is Riku's Bugs. We got to do it one more time for celebration's sake. And Mr. King Jacob in fourth. It's Riku. They put bugs in him. What? And Fristy in fifth. Congratulations. Silla Blossom Gaia reclaiming the crown. Good job. Um, I think this is definitely easier than the Price is Right one, but I would think, what's funny is I think I actually finished lower on this. Um, I think this is probably going to be like a 48% correct. 35, all right. Well, I can't win them all. Most difficult question was the one that two people got, the Ven World Visits, and then down here we have the Grand Ghost High Potion one. All right, everyone say thank you, Mig Masterin, for this one. Um, we're not done, though, folks. We're moving on to the Donald and Goofy-themed Kahoot. This is our third and final Kahoot of the night by Fru Tune.